Now. Gary truly was a remarkable person. I'm sure you're grateful to have known him. Gary Waddell passed away earlier this month at the age of 77. He worked right here for 32 years before retiring in 2012. He was known by so many as a broadcasting influence who had a tremendous reach. That's right. Well, over the past few weeks, I've heard so many stories and, of course, great memories. And even though I never met Gary, he definitely had an impact here in the community and, of course, here in the station. Very clear uh, impact here. Certainly did. Gary Waddell leaves behind a legacy that will always echo in our halls. That managed the success, it was lived well, laughed often, and loved much. Many gathered today to pay tribute to Gary Waddell. Because of him, we should have a greater appreciation for life, a greater appreciation for our community. A loss for his family and the broadcasting family at large. Gary truly was a remarkable person. I'm sure you're grateful to have known him. Gary arrived in Las Vegas in 1970, working for KORK Radio, then made his jump to TV in 1980, working for KLAS TV until his retirement in 2012. That was the beginning of a remarkable 32-year career, and he made Southern Nevada broadcasting history as the longest anchor. And he joined up with uh, Paula. Gary covered many of the events and moments that left lasting impacts on our city from the MGM fire in 1980. The latest reports are that the fire is out. To the Pepcon chemical explosion. At this morning's Nevada delegation meeting. He brought us coverage from national events like the Democratic Convention and the first anniversary of 9-11 at Ground Zero in New York. He followed along for weeks with Nevada's Task Force One as they rescued people trapped in Louisiana by Hurricane Katrina. He will forever be remembered as a respected and iconic journalist. And I think maybe Gary summed up best to his experience at the time of his retirement. And he said, you know, I've had a front row seat on the history of Las Vegas, and so he did, and so all of us were so grateful to tune in to Gary and listening to him to share it and explain it with us. And they did mention his tarantula, Frankie, during today's ceremony. Gary, of course, is in the Nevada Broadcasters Hall of Fame, the KLAS Hall of Fame, and he's won a slew of broadcasting awards.